Greetings fellow and future Star Citizens, Grey-Headed Gamer here, and we're back on Star Citizen Island. I'm getting ready for our huge event on Friday, the 24th. It's the MISC Hull Series uh, concept sale, something I've been waiting very patiently for, and I know a lot of other people are as well. There probably is not enough room on my current island, so I thought I'd come in and uh, lay out a little more room. Hopefully Mr. Tipcorn will uh, get those assets over to me on Friday and I can put out some videos on Saturday so we can get a good look at the whole series. I'm very excited to see what they're going to look like and what their uh, sizes and capacities for cargo are going to be. Um, if you've missed it, the whole A is going to start at $60. And I know I've said that I'm only going to start with starter ships, but holy moly, that puts it at starter ship price range, kind of. Um, and I'm having a hard time deciding if I'm going to pick up a whole A or not. Um, the whole B is going to be 90, the whole C 200, the whole D 350, and the whole E at 550. Now I thought the whole E was only going to be an NPC boat, but it looks like we're going to be able to pick that up as well. They all should come with the LTI as, uh, seems that it is a concept sale. So a $60 hull A with LTI is going to make a fantastic ship. Not only for cargo, but also for cross chassis upgrades. Now, on the subject of cargo capacity, you may have noticed that I haven't put out any cargo capacity videos in a quite some time. And the reason being is the cargo system is being completely revamped. I think they used the new numbers for the Orion, but they haven't given us any details on cargo. Now, my old system, I used uh, actual uh, rendered assets that were in game and stuffed them full of boxes and divided that by a number to try to uh, match it up to the actual cargo capacity and freight units on the RSI webpage. Now that works okay. You know, the, we know my old numbers weren't exactly right, but they were pretty darn close. But the problem is that is dealing only with volume. That that doesn't take into consideration mass at all. So if you can imagine, you know, if you had 16 boxes full of feathers and 16 boxes full of iron ore, um, you know, would you call that the same amount of freight units? You know, I'd, I'd probably not. They're probably going to have a combination of mass and volume to calculate freight units because we will have atmospheric flight. So weight's going to uh, really have a, an effect on cargo capacity. Of course, we, if we were in zero G 100% of the time, uh, we could just go on sheer volume because the weight wouldn't matter. But seeing that we do have atmospheric flight, um, it seems like we will have um, some sort of volume and mass calculation. Another reason I haven't done uh, the cargo comparisons is because uh, with the hollow table models, I can't actually put boxes into the ship because you can't, you know, nothing in the inside is rendered yet. So I can't really see the cargo hold to fill it up to get an accurate number, even just to show you how many crates would fit into the ship, which is something I know a lot of people like to see as well. So once we get a little more information on the new cargo system, I'm going to try to get back on that uh, because I, I enjoy doing the cargo capacity videos. Uh, it is my main focus in game. Now, while we're working on the island, I also want to go ahead and do our monthly Patreon ship giveaway. It is time once again. So I'm going to do it a little different this time. Instead of typing in every single name individually, I'm starting to get a lot of patrons now. Uh, I'm going to use a random name uh, number generator here. Uh, true random number. Put in our 43 patrons here. And I'll count uh, left to right. One, two, three, four, kind of like that all the way down the row. Uh, let's go ahead and generate our number. And it is 24. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Mr. Hib or Hybe, Mr. Hib or Hybe, which one you, uh, whichever name you like to use, you are our winner. Uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name and I'm sorry for the generic, uh, style of picking the patron. Uh, but it works. It's a random number generator, and he is our winner. So congratulations, Mr. Hybe. I'm going to go with Hybe. I'm, I'm going to send you a message right now. You are the Aurora LN winner. So thank you very much for your support. Thanks to all my patrons for your support. And we will be doing another ship giveaway next month. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the other Star Citizen YouTubers out there. 
uh, I've got a, a list of U uh, Star Citizen YouTubers on my YouTube homepage on the right hand side. If you're not on there and you create Star Citizen content, message me, I'll put it on there. I just want to get uh, as much information out there to the people as we can. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>